All right, everyone. So we had this wacky, <laughs> wacky rundown here. We've got Nationals and Braves. I've seen this one time. I'm going to play it here. We're going to go through it. I have not broken this down yet. I'm going to look at this through the eyes of if I was actually the manager or a coach on this team, and I'm trying to coach the team through what the hell just happened. So let's play it here. We've got a ground ball. It's first, men on first and second, one out. Here's the ground ball. Let's check it out, and then let's try to coach. Let's try to coach the Nationals through this. So there's the ground ball to first. We step on first. We throw to second. It's a non-force now. We got to tag this guy. He goes back. Runner that was at second turns third. Tr starts to go home. Now we've got this going on. Now we've got our runner running into our catcher. Ball is dead. <laughs> Ball is dead. Runners awarded the next base. All of that running for nothing. <laughs> so we don't get that. So if I'm if I'm coaching in this game right now, I'm probably losing my mind. We actually had a rundown last week in high school, and um, <laughs> my my dad ended up who's our assistant coach, ended up, I think, coming on the field. It felt like he was over the white line screaming, tag him, because we were not running him hard and tagging him. So let's start off here. Let's break this down exactly what happens. And let's try to coach through it. What went wrong? What needs to be done better? You know, the principles and some of the fundamentals of a rundown. So here we go. First thing, we get the ground ball to first, okay? So we catch the ball. We step on the bag. Fine play. Right now we turn and we throw. Now here is the play here by the runner. So we'll, we'll coach both sides, okay? So in his mind, he didn't think he could get there. So he says, okay, I'll stop and I'll get into a rundown. Now he probably actually could have gotten there because this throw, as you can see, is way offline. But he had already decided that he wasn't going to be able to make it. So he decided to stop and get into a rundown. Didn't want to run into an easy tag out, okay? So, um, so far, I guess that is, is fine. So now we start to run them. As we run them, the ball comes out of our glove, which is good. You never want to run with the ball in your glove. You want to run with it in your bare hand. He knows that this runner that went from second is going to round third, right? So we can't let him score before we tag this runner out. So he's doing a good job so far. He's taking his, the ball out of his glove. He's picking up that runner as he runs this guy back. Now, you've got to make sure... You've got to be able to do this at full speed. And here's the biggest thing with, with rundowns is you have to be under control, yes, because you want to make sure that this guy doesn't score, but you also can't do it in slow motion. So I've got to run full speed while keeping my eyes on the runner. And I'm kind of checking back and forth between this runner and this runner and making sure that he doesn't score. And once I see that runner from third break from the, to the plate, then I can deliver the ball home. Okay, so now here he goes. Right here he realizes, okay, he's going home. He delivers home. It's another bad throw. So we've got two bad throws in a row, which doesn't help. Right? We've got to put the ball on the money. So now we've got the ball here. Now the runner has stopped, and now he's going to go back. Okay, so here we go. We're running him back. We're running him back. Now, here's the first mistake, okay? This is the very first mistake of the rundown, is that there's far too much room here between the runner and the third baseman. Okay, and the ball is delivered too early. So the biggest thing in a rundown is the first thing we have to do is we have to run them hard. We have to get them to commit. If they can do this, see how the runner is basically like sideways and he's shuffling? If he can be sideways and shuffling, then once he sees the throw, he's going to go the other way. So you have to get him to turn and run hard. The only way you get him to commit is you have to run hard. So if you get the ball, right, if you get the ball, and I know that we're in gear, but and I know that we're catchers, and catchers aren't always the fleetest of foot. Some are, but most aren't, right? You've got to run them hard, okay? Not only do you have to run him hard, but you have to what we call close the gap. And so the third baseman cannot stand on, see how he's on the bag? You cannot stand on the bag. What you need to do is as this guy should be running him hard, this guy should slowly be creeping in and we close the gap. We don't want to run a runner 90 feet back and forth, okay? We'll never get him. And so we want to close the gap 
and we want to catch the ball with momentum. We should always catch the ball moving towards the runner because if we can get the runner to run hard and commit, we close the gap, we give the ball up, we catch it with momentum. Now this guy cannot stop in reverse direction. This guy has momentum. No matter how fast this guy is, we should be able to catch and tag him. Okay, so we make this long throw with no momentum. We catch the ball on the bag without closing the gap. And so now we've got to run him all the way back. So now, now this is where it gets really ugly, right? So now there's such a huge gap here, but there's still a huge gap here. So we give this ball up. Now we start to run him. Now we start to panic because the, the catcher had moved up enough where He's not further enough back, which again, we don't want him all the way back, but now we're freaking out that he's going to pass the catcher here, that the runner is going to pass the catcher, right? And so number two mistake or three or four or five, I don't know how many mistakes we're on. So usually when you give a ball up like this, you're going to follow the throw. The problem is I don't know what's going on behind here. I don't know who's behind him. And the other thing is we used to call it anchoring. If you throw the ball early and there's a ton of gap here, there's a lot of room, you can anchor down and basically just hold your ground and wait for the runner to come back to you. Typically, the rule is throw the ball and go exit the way you throw it. So stay on the side that you're on, and then you just go to the base that you threw it to. But he's basically anchoring down here. So we catch the ball. We give it back. Now, here's the thing. Now, this is the problem, and this is where we get in big trouble. is because he was pretty close and he decided to anchor, now he's getting scared that this guy's going to pass him. So now he's backpedaling, right? See how he's backpedaling? So now we're doing the opposite of what we want, which is to close the gap and have momentum. So when he gets the ball back, he's backpedaling. Now he's got to stop and he's got to reverse direction. So this is how we never get the base runner caught because we don't ever catch it with momentum, right? And so now it's just who's faster, base runner or catcher? Base runner is going to probably win here. All right, so we catch the ball. Here we go. Now this guy is going to leave the way he threw it. So, I mean, he does a good job, I guess. Now we start running here. Now still, this guy is just jogging, right? So, I mean, we've got to, we've got to get sprinting. Now, I don't know if this is a full sprint, but he's got to get faster than, like get in the weight room or something, okay? So now we've got him. At this point, now, now, oh, my Lord. Oh, guys, I'd be flipping out. Here's the thing. We don't close the gap again. We don't have momentum. Now, if we wanted to, we could do a few things. No, no, we can't do a few things here, actually. So you're also watching this runner right here. And this runner, if he just continues to run and he gets on third base, then we've got two runners at third. All we do is we just continue to run this guy back. We'll have two guys on the bag. We're going to tag both runners. Hope they both leave. We'll tag them both again. The lead runner would be safe. The trail runner would be out. But this runner says, no, 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 I'm not going to just run into an out there. He stops. And so what it looks like, okay, so you can see, see, here's where we get really messed up, guys. A lot goes into it. This guy's saying, run him all the way back. Run him. See him? He's waving. Run him back. Because he thinks that he is just going to keep running. And he thinks we're going to have two runners on third base. But this guy says, not so fast, my friend. I'm not going to third base. I'm going to stop right here. And I'm going to really mess you guys up. So now, because he's saying, oh, just run him back, we're going to have two at third. No, we don't. He doesn't close the gap. He doesn't get momentum. So now when the ball is given up, he's flat-footed again, right? And this is where I take my hat off and I gronk spike it onto the ground as a manager. Now we're running him back again with no momentum, all right? So here we go. And it's dun 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 Somebody put a tent over this circus. So now we've got another guy. Now this guy's closed the gap. Good boy, right? So he's not on the plate anymore, right? We've got to run him hard. We've got to sprint, 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 okay? Now again, again, he closed the gap, but there's no momentum to his feet. He, now he stops his feet. So we give the ball up, and when it's caught, now he's got to start to go from, from a completely stopped position. Again, this guy can stop and run. So you can see how important it is to catch the ball with momentum. Now he's pointing at him, right? I think he might be saying two guys at third. This guy right here is obsessed with two guys at third base. I don't know yet if we have two guys at third. Let's see here in a second, right? So now we're running. See, so 
See, so this guy is just assuming that this guy is going to go to third, but he won't go to third. He's stopping, and now he's going back again. So we still don't have two guys at third. Now the catcher has closed the gap, right? But this guy, he catches the ball. Now he makes a couple mistakes here, okay? The first mistake is we're running the guy on the inside of the base path, right? So you always got to pick a lane, and we pick this side of the of the base path. So you, both guys got to be on that side so we have a clear lane so we don't have to throw it over this guy's head. Well, this guy catches the ball and then he decides now to come outside here. So now we have no lane. So now we've got to throw it up over his head. So another boo-boo, okay? Again, this guy's saying, two guys at third. Nope, you're lying. He's going back to second again. The catcher's closed the gap. But because we, we aren't throwing the ball, right, now it's delivered late. We don't have momentum. Now we're backpedaling again like we're in Little League. It's bad news bears. And now the catcher's in big, big trouble because now he has nowhere to go. As a base runner, here's your job. And Ron's sitting here. I can only imagine what Ron's saying to himself. And I love Ron Washington. Now, as a base runner, your job usually is you're not going to get out of a rundown, typically in the big leagues. Like once you're to run down the big leagues, it's hard to get out of. This guy's done a damn good job of, of trying to get out of this. These guys over here have done a damn poor job. But your job really as a base runner is I'm, look, I'm looking for somebody to run into. I want to run into somebody that doesn't have the ball because then I'm awarded the next base. And that's exactly what happened. So the catcher now, now the catcher's on the train track, so the train's coming through here. He doesn't know what to do. And he just decides, I'm just going to back battle. I'm just going to get ran over. Like, get out of the way. Go someplace. We actually already have a guy behind him. And so now the base runner, perfectly, perfect, run right into him. That's your job. You literally want to find someone and run into him because now you're automatically awarded home and this guy's going to move up to third. And that was the worst rundown of all time. Now after this, this guy says, okay, I guess we'll try to get this guy over here now. So he gives it. Juan Soto came from the outfield. He said, you guys all stink. I'm going to take over. I know I'm an outfielder, but no one on this team can complete a rundown. So just please give me the ball and let me do it because I'm one of the best players in the league, even though I'm not known for my defense. Okay, now... Juan runs all the way here. Now, he does the boo-boo of putting the ball in his glove early. You never put the ball in your glove early, Juan, because now if you want to throw it, you can't throw it. But he said, I've had enough of seeing guys throw the ball. I'm just going to use my speed, even though he doesn't have a ton of it. And he's going to try to run the guy down, which you can't run him down anyway. So technically, he's safe here again. We've got this mess going over here on the ground. Is this Angel Hernandez? I don't know. He said, ball? And they said, Angel, it wasn't a pitch. What are we calling? He said, no, 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 that's obstruction. We're going to send him home. And Juan said, I'm going to tag everyone. I'm going to tag you out. And then I'm going to come, I'm going to tag you out. And then I'm going to look and realize, I mean, it, it is a complete circus. Everybody's safe. And he goes home. And it's the ugliest thing we've ever seen, guys. It's the ugliest thing we've ever seen. So that's, <laughs> that's a breakdown. Bottom line, bottom line. It, well, there's a lot of bottom lines. But I guess the bottom line is good job by the Braves by staying in that right there and by not running into any easy outs. Horrendous job by the Nationals of closing the gap, of catching with momentum, of staying on the same side as each other to create a lane. Um, I mean, a, 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 just of running the runner hard, of not standing in the way of a runner, right? Of putting the ball in your glove here. Like, there's just so many things that are wrong with this. Um, you know, the only smart thing Soto does do, I guess, is he tags both runners. You always want to tag both runners. Just tag everybody because the lead runner, in this case, the ball's, you know, the ball's dead. But in most cases, you want to just tag everyone, hope they all leave the base, and then you tag them all again. But don't do a rundown like this, guys. Hopefully this helps you out. Let me know if I missed anything. I mean, there's a lot more we could talk about, but we're 15 minutes in already, and, I mean, that was a disaster. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former Major League player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're going to show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. 
This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.